if the object distance is less than the focal length, what happens here? Okay, so just think about this this way. If the object distance is less than the focal length, then 1 over the object distance is larger than 1 over the focal length. Agreed? If a number, one number is smaller than the other, then the inverse of this is larger than this. That means 1 over object distance is larger than 1 over focal length. What the right hand side of this equation is going to give me is a negative quantity, which means 1 over di is a negative quantity, di will be negative, yes. At do equals to f, y is di equal to f2. Okay, let's do it this way, all right? Suppose your object distance is 2f, right? I have 1 over f minus 1 over 2f, correct? That's the one you're asking about, the first the example we did in the... Let me write the magnification equation here. The amount of board available to me is limited, I'm sorry. So suppose I have given that the object distance is 2f, okay? If I put that into here, what I get is 1 over image distance is 1 over f minus 1 over 2f, correct? Factor out 1 over f. 1 over f times 1 minus 1 half. What is 1 minus a half? <coughs> Come on, people, wake up. <laughs> what is this? A half, exactly. So this is equal to 1 over 2f. So I have 1 over image distance is equal to 1 over 2f, which means image distance is equal to 2f. And you can do this with any object distance and image distance. Suppose I have an object distance that's less than f, okay? 1 over f minus 1 over something that's less than f. Let's take, for example, object distance is equal to f over 2. Suppose we change it to that. So what I'm going to get over here is object distance is f over 2, so the inverse of that is 2 over f. So instead of 1 minus a half, what I get is 1 minus 2, which is negative 1 over f. Okay? Which means the image distance will be negative f. What does negative f mean? That where is the image? The image is going to be formed at the focal point in front of the lens. That's what a negative image distance means. It means the image is in front of the lens. I mean to have chosen two. I mean... I'm just choosing it in terms of f to give you a sense, but let's say it was f over 3. This would become 3 over f. Okay? So given any number, you can figure out. But as long as this is less than, if this is less than f, then this inverse is going to be larger than this, and the difference will be negative. Okay, so if I have a negative image distance, when I take the magnification, what I'm going to get is the negative of a negative number. So if in this case I found the magnification, I would find that magnification is equal to, so for this particular example, my magnification is going to be equal to image distance 
negative of the image distance, negative of negative f over 2 divided by object distance, which is f over 3. So what is my magnification equal to? Will my magnification depend on the focal length in this case, example? No, the focal length will cancel out. I will have 1 half times 3 over f, so 3 halves. Positive 3 halves. Okay? So it's an upright virtual image.